had seen Terry as a town. Terry was not only a town, Terry was also the headquarter of principality, you know. There was a palace in Terry, and a huge palace of Raja of Terry. It was at a hillock. There was a Ghantagar, I remember, you know. It's a very vibrant, very, very vibrant, more vibrant, I would say, than Harsu, you know, that Terry was. And today it is all submerged. Topic of my ancestral interest, construction of dam, uh, how they rehabilitated, how the compensation was given to the people. And Gandhi Sagar Dam, uh, when you go to the site, today you won't find that much population residing during the dam area. But, but uh, when it was constructed, it was practically a city, a city a township uh, having consisting of so many people. I have also to see the micro level problems. Uh, we have uh, did an ethnographic study uh, in a village, one single village which is displaced, that is called first village, Go, uh, Gondi in uh, Polavaram Dam, because uh, we have done uh, nine villages uh, as a pilot study, but we thought let us start with the first village which is displaced, because let us see how they have followed the policy and all kind of things. दर दर गंगे इसलिए क्योंकि हर शहर हर दर गंगा को अपने ही हिसाब से गुनता और गुनता है उसके लिए वो नदी उसकी अपनी कुछ एक एक उसकी अपनी एक पर्सनल कल्चर कुछ उसका कनेक्शन है जिससे उस नदी को देखता है तो बिहार के झारखंड के या बंगाल के गंगा किनारे रहने वाले लोग हरिद्वार और ऋषिकेश में गंगा स्नान के लिए जाते हैं वो उनकी अपनी मान्यता है आप ये सवाल उनके सामने नहीं रख सकते कि गंगा जब आपके घर के सामने बह रही है तो आप स्नान करने यहाँ क्यों आ रहे हैं तो हर दर पर गंगा की कहानी थोड़ी अलग रहती है